Hello everyone, I'm Eric from the Justin Blaney Mountain Center coming at you today with some great shoulder mobility or shoulder uh, warm-up exercises. So with a lot of my warm-ups, I'm going to be starting off on the floor, uh, kind of standing up as I'm progressing through the warm-up. Uh, so for today, the focus is on uh, mobilizing the upper body. Uh, so a great way to do that is with the thoracic um, mobility drill, the, the T-spine rotations. So to start this, we're going to get set up uh, nice and easy into that um, quadruped position or the tabletop position. What I'm going to do is take my right arm, kind of thread the needle, try to touch the shoulder to the ground. And I'm going to be doing maybe eight to six of these uh, per side. Okay. So uh, we're always moving within what your body is able to tolerate, uh, so we don't want to be um, overexerting ourselves at the start of the warm up. So I'm going to continue to do this, alrighty, just breathing throughout, focusing on finding those areas where my body may be extra stiff. Okay. So closing on that six mark. Now, uh, what I'm going to do is stand up, and this next kind of mobility exercise um, isn't advisable if we're doing like a lot of pull movements, like a pull down or a pull to the chest. We're going to just stretch out those uh, rhomboid muscles, the muscles that bring our shoulder blades back. So we're going to do that, we're going to give ourselves some TLC, just kind of almost like a bear hug, pulling the shoulders forward. And after about 10 seconds, I'm going to take a deep breath in and then out. Try to see if I can establish a new stretch. So again, we don't want to be doing any static stretching before resistance training because that's going to uh, diminish our muscles' ability to generate force. Okay? So we're going to continue on now. Uh, this Radford press, I'm a huge fan of it. I'm doing it with just the dowel, but you're able to use um, a bar just to have that extra weight uh, through the motion. I'm going to get set up a pretty strict grip here, pressing directly over my head and behind the shoulders. So press up, down to the chest. We're just going maybe 15 reps like that. So if you are doing you know, a lot of back squats, this is going to help your body get naturally into that position with the bar on your back, hands close to the shoulders. Okay? It's also going to be helpful if you're doing any um, uh, behind the head, overhead press. Okay, so continuing on with moving uh, weight through a full range of motion, uh, we're gonna get started with uh, what are often called shoulder dislocations. Now, depending on your range of motion, you can use a straight bar or a band with some light, moderate resistance. And then with this, we're gonna take the slack out of the band and try to do a full. 360 with her hands, starting down at her uh, pockets, bringing up, and then going back. So now my palms are facing the front of the room, whereas they start facing the back of the room. And again, this is another uh, drill we're able to do 10 to 12 times. Okay. Now, the supraspinatus is a muscle that plays a lot of role in stability, but oftentimes there may be restrictions within that movement. So I'm going to take a nice eight, uh, nice light uh, dumbbell here. I'm going to get set up kind of like so. So I have the weight resting um, with my elbow on the knee. And then I'm going to be internally rotating. If I could bring it all the way to my thigh, I will. And then externally rotating. We're able to take it to 90 degrees and back there. Okay. Always breathing out as we're shortening that muscle. Now, of course, we're going to have to do both sides for this, but for the purpose of today's demonstration, we're just doing one. Okay. So, we've kind of felt where our body is at, did up some stretches, some um, uh, movements with weight. Now, we're going to do a specific movement to encourage full range of motion at the shoulder. So, that's going to be your arm bone and the shoulder joint itself through the full range of motion. So I'm going to start with my top face and my thigh. I'm going to bring it up to 180 degrees. Turn my hand so my palm is facing out. And then I'm trying to complete the circle. So depending on how healthy your shoulder is, we should be able to move our hand in that same plane throughout.
throughout. But if we have any restrictions, we may come out a little bit towards um, the side that we're working. But with this, we're trying to do almost like a windmill, maybe six times per side. So I hope that helped uh, with some ideas for exercises to include uh, during your warm up or for any shoulder mobility. If you have any more questions, stay tuned to the Justine Blaine Wellness Center channel uh, where we have all sorts of other great tips and advice. Hope to see you around.